Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with a new 12 by 12 process video for Confessions of a Paper Addict Cut Files and I'm using the Great Outdoors Cut File. It's a really nice, um, simple title with a few little images on it and great for those documenting those outdoor photos. So, um, you can see the photo I've got there. It's, um, we went on a little walk um, in the bush. <laughs> I think that this was one where we went to a Kiwi sanctuary. Um, and I love walking around native bush in New Zealand. It's just, um, it's just beautiful. And I snapped this photo of Eddie. She was kind of walking just up ahead of us. And um, it's, it, it's some, like sometimes the bush is really quite dense. And you just get these like shafts of bright, especially if it's a sunny day, um, just kind of beaming through um, little open spots in the bush. And I managed to snap this at like just the perfect time. Eddie was walking through this like shaft of light. And it's just such a beautiful photo. Everything's kind of dark and dense around her and the light is just focusing on her. It's a really pretty one, so I definitely wanted to document this one. Um, I'm using uh, Jen Hadfield's Grateful Heart Collection and I'm just going to go ahead and um, take a minute to back the cut file. I'm using the 6x8 paper pad. I've chosen a bunch of patterns and I'm just using the inside cutout pieces from the cut file as a guide to kind of pencil around them and then I cut just outside that pencil line and go ahead and um, use that to back my cut file. So I find it's, um, when doing title ones, it's kind of um, almost easier to just go ahead and cut out all those letters first and then you can go ahead and glue them in place. And of course pop the little center bits in the letters as well. And that's all done. So now I've got the majority of the cut file done. I'm just going to take a minute to back the rest of those little images and then pop the whole cut file up on some adhesive foam. The moon I did back with some foil gold um, cardstock. I just thought it would be a nice touch considering there's some gold in this collection. And um, yeah, really simple. I'm just trimming down my photo. It's a rather large one. It's not quite 4 by 6 just a little bit smaller. Um, so I just trimmed that down and left a nice little white border on it. I am going to back it with just a single layer of pattern paper. So I've chosen this cream with the little suns on it, just just for a little bit of something around the outside. And I'm gonna go ahead and rough up the edges. I decided I'd use this green leafy background. Now, you're probably thinking, Virginia, you've been using white cardstock for, <laughs> again, for ages. I actually made this layout probably um, very end of last year, and I completely forgot I had it sitting there as a video to go out, so. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're sharing it now. Um, I love this layout, it's really pretty. Um, and particularly love the photo, so. I um, thought I should definitely take a minute to just edit the video and get it out to you guys. Um, and the cut file's great as well, I really love that one. So I'm just sifting through some of the die cuts. There's a lot, I've got a ton of the die cuts left. Um, the reality is I buy more collections than I can actually scrapbook through or use the product so <laughs> I've, got, I've got a lot of these collections where I've purchased them because I absolutely adore them but have not really had a chance to use them. In my defense though I kind of save some of them for those perfect photos and I, I honestly don't think that there's anything wrong with doing that as long as it's not a collection you're going to fall out of love with and um, not want to use. I don't have, I don't think that there's anything wrong with kind of um, holding them aside for photos that you know you've got but are not quite ready to scrapbook. So um, a lot of these ones, um, these kind of outdoorsy ones, um, uh, specifically in mind for these kind of um, hiking trips and outdoorsy things that we do. So I'm quite ha happy having them just sitting there. Okay, so while I've been rambling, I've just kind of gone through the die cuts. I've pulled out some bits and pieces. I've got some fussy cut gold foil butterflies there, which I'm going to add a few of them. That's kind of echoing the gold that's in that moon. And then obviously a bunch of flowers, a little snail, everything just kind of works. And there's some really nice spots to kind of pop die cuts um, around the cut file. So moving on to the sticker sheets, a little clip, I've just popped that up up there. And um, I think that's kind of really it. I'm just going to work my way around adhering all of my little die cuts in my photo and stuff, popping them into place. Um, so I'll just take a minute to do that. 
And I always kind of like to start with the stuff that's kind of adhered to my background cardstock and then I, I can adhere bits and pieces on top of my cut file and then I can pick up my whole cut file and pop an adhesive on it and then um, I've got a really good guide as to where my cut file should be sitting when I put it back down. So I'm um, not sure where I've gone to now. Tot it off somewhere. Okay, back to it. <laughs> I'm just adhering down these little flowers that are down the bottom. Okay, that's all done. My cut files adhered down. I'm just going to take a minute to sprinkle some white Liquitex acrylic ink because I know it's going to really pop on that dark background. So I just go ahead and do that. Whoops, I just dropped my ATG gun in it. Um, and I think that's it for my layer. Yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the process and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.